In the ancient times, a man was born by the name Methuselah. He came into the world not as an ordinary child, but one whose destiny was already etched in the annals of time. His lineage was of notable significance, for he was the son of Enoch, a man celebrated for his unwavering faith and devotion to righteousness. The birth of Methuselah was shrouded in prophecy, a divine decree that signaled his life would play a crucial role in humanity's narrative. This wasn't a typical birth. It was a moment that would reverberate through the ages. His birth was a testament to the divine plan, a unique prelude to an extraordinary life that would be filled with remarkable events. Born into a world where faith and prophecy intertwined, Methuselah's story was just beginning. His journey would be one of longevity, of patience, and of battles against darkness. Thus, the stage was set for Methuselah's extraordinary life, a life that would span centuries. Methuselah became renowned for his longevity, living a staggering 969 years. This extraordinary lifespan is not just a number, but a testament to the miraculous nature of his existence. This remarkable age is recorded in the Bible, in the book of Genesis, making Methuselah the man with the longest recorded lifespan in human history. Methuselah's longevity is significant in many ways. It's not just about the years he lived, but about the history he witnessed and the wisdom he amassed over centuries. Just imagine, his life spanned across many generations, allowing him to witness the world change and evolve in ways we can only dream of. He saw empires rise and fall. He saw the world change from its primal state to a more civilized one. He was there when mankind learned to harness fire, to cultivate land, to carve the first writings into stone. He saw the world in its infancy and its growth. All of these experiences enriched his wisdom, making him a living repository of human history and knowledge. Moreover, Methuselah's long life is a powerful symbol of God's grace and power. It shows us that God, in his infinite wisdom and mercy, can grant extraordinary gifts to those he chooses. Methuselah's longevity was not a random occurrence, it was a divine gift, a sign of the special role he played in the grand scheme of things. In the face of such a long life, we are reminded of the immensity of God's power and the depth of his wisdom. Methuselah's life serves as a reminder that God's plans are beyond our comprehension and that we are all part of a larger divine plan. Methuselah, with his long life, became a living testament to the power of God. His story is a reminder that even in the face of the unimaginable, God's grace can manifest in extraordinary ways. Through Methuselah, we see a glimpse of the divine, a testament to the boundless power and grace of God. Methuselah's life was marked by God's extraordinary patience. Let's delve into that. The world during Methuselah's time was riddled with wickedness, yet God, in his infinite wisdom and patience, allowed Methuselah to live an extraordinarily long life. You see, patience is an inherent attribute of God. He is not bound by time as we are, and his plans unfold in a timeline far beyond our comprehension. Methuselah's life serves as a testament to this divine patience. Despite the chaos and corruption that filled the world, God did not cut short Methuselah's days, but allowed him to live for nearly a millennium. This extraordinary patience wasn't without purpose. God had a grand plan in place, a divine tapestry where every thread, every life has significance. Methuselah's life was one such thread. By allowing him to live on, God was giving humanity a chance to repent, to turn away from their wicked ways and seek redemption. God's patience with Methuselah also showcased his enduring love for humanity. Despite the world's wickedness, God was reluctant to bring about the great flood that would cleanse the earth. He waited patiently, hoping that mankind would see the error of their ways and return to righteousness. The life of Methuselah also serves as a reminder that God's patience is not infinite. There comes a time when God says, enough is enough. And so it was that in the year Methuselah died, the great flood came, washing away the wickedness that had consumed the world. In essence, God's patience with Methuselah was a divine countdown to humanity's judgment. Every year that Methuselah lived was another year that God patiently waited for mankind's repentance. His long life was not mere chance, but a clear sign of God's grace, mercy and patience. So, as we reflect on the life of Methuselah, let's remember that God's patience, while vast, is not without limit. 
And beneath that patience lies a deep love for humanity and a desire for us to choose righteousness over wickedness. God's patience with Methuselah was a clear demonstration of his grace and mercy. Methuselah's life was not just marked by longevity, but also by battles with the forces of darkness. In the annals of ancient lore, Methuselah holds a unique place. His life, spanning almost a millennium, was not just a testament to his longevity, but also to his courage. For Methuselah didn't just live, he fought, he struggled, and he triumphed. The tales of his battles are the stuff of legend. It is said that Methuselah, with divine power vested in him, faced the forces of darkness not once, not twice, but on countless occasions. The most extraordinary of these encounters was his battle against 900 demons. Picture this, 900 demons, each more formidable than the last, each bent on sowing discord and chaos, and Methuselah, a solitary figure standing against them. This was no ordinary man. This was Methuselah, a man blessed with God's favor. The demons, in their arrogance, underestimated him. They saw an old man, not the warrior chosen by God. Their mistake was their downfall. Methuselah, empowered by divine might, fought with a strength that belied his years. His faith was his shield, his conviction his weapon. He fought the demons one by one, his courage never waning. He struck them down, each defeat a testament to his unwavering faith and the divine power that aided him. One by one they fell, until all 900 lay defeated. Methuselah stood victorious, a beacon of light in the darkness. But Methuselah's battles were not just physical, they were spiritual. He battled not just the demons in front of him, but the demons within. His victories were not just over the forces of evil, but over his own doubts and fears. He proved that with faith, courage and God's help, even the most formidable adversaries could be defeated. And so Methuselah's tale is not just one of longevity, but of courage, of faith and of victory over the forces of darkness. It serves as a reminder that no matter how great the odds, with God's help, victory is always within reach. Methuselah, with God's help, was a formidable adversary to the forces of evil. As Methuselah's life came to a close, his legacy was firmly established. His was a life marked by extraordinary longevity, a testament to the divine patience that God had extended to him. This was a man who had walked the earth for nearly a millennium, and in that time he had seen and experienced more than any other. Methuselah's battles too were the stuff of legend. He faced down 900 demons, an incredible feat that stands as a testament to his courage and faith. Each victory over these malevolent forces further solidified his place in biblical history. Yet perhaps the most enduring aspect of Methuselah's legacy is the profound impact he had on those around him and those who would come after him. His life serves as a potent reminder of the power of faith and the strength of the human spirit when guided by divine grace. Methuselah's life, marked by divine patience and victorious battles, remains an enduring testament to God's power and mercy.